Hey guys, Julio with Curb Appeal Pros here. Just wanted to give you a quick update on our flatbed build. We have a little bit of a layout going right now, so we kind of wanted to give you an update and show you how we're progressing with this. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to everything we do here so you can keep up to date with the build. Thanks guys, here we go. Here you have it. Here is a small kind of general layout of how we are going to be building this flatbed. Um, since it is a lot smaller of a flatbed than our usual truck over here, we are going to have to really be able to utilize the most space possible um, and the best way possible. Um, so let's go ahead and get started to kind of show you from the front of the flatbed all the way back and around. Um, as you can see here, we are going to be utilizing these undermount truck boxes. Uh, they're relatively inexpensive for what they are. They're pretty darn durable. Um, this one we got used off the marketplace. This one we bought new off Tractor Supply. Um, we're going to go ahead and use a little aluminum brightener, get this thing cleaned and polished up and look beautiful just like the new one so that way everything matches nicely. We're going to have our chemicals in there along with some tools on the other side so that way we can utilize the space um, without having to load too much stuff in the truck um, to be able to use it correctly. Um, so as you can see here we have our actual fuel tank itself. Um, this is going to be powering our 10 gallon a minute machine uh, that's over there. Um, it's just strictly going to be for that as we're going to be running a 12 volt system here for our uh, roof applications, our higher concentrated chemical applications, um, just so that way we go ahead and minimize the amount of space we're using. Um, because on our large flatbed we have an air diaphragm set, set up. It's a one inch air diaphragm, which we love. We're just not able to use that on this system here because this flatbed's just a lot smaller. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do here is we're going to use our 12 volt um, and our do-it-yourself proportioner. We have an actual proportioner on the uh, large truck, but we want to do a little bit more of a budget-friendly build on this. So we're not necessarily cutting corners, but we're making it as budget-conscious as possible um, is the best way to put it. Um, so here, as you can see here, a little bit of tape kind of seeing where it's going to go. This tank right here is actually going to be lifted on a, I'd say about uh, 10 to 12 inch steel platform. Um, that way we can have items underneath here so that way we can go ahead and store anything that we need to slide under there, cables, uh, plumbing, etc. That way it's just kind of up and out of the way. Uh, we will also be building kind of a wood frame around this so you'll see it here um, once we're completed and that way you will see the actual proportioner uh, bolted to that so that way we can access it easily from here um, to be able to run it. Um, this fitting here is going to be coming directly out for our X-Jet setup. Um, we love our X-Jet. Um, it's tried and true and never fails on us. Basically, you know, we've downstreamed, we've uh, direct pumped it, we've, we've done it all. We just love using the actual X-Jet. We get the concentration we want on demand. We can rinse on demand and don't have to worry about clearing the lines. We're good to go. Um, here is just kind of a placement of some DI tanks uh, to show where we're going to be putting our water fed pole system. Um, we're going to have an actual uh, larger tank um, with a filter as well here. Um, this is just kind of showing you the space that it's going to take up along with our water fed pole here. Um, this is our 35 inch, uh, excuse me, 35 foot uh, water fed pole. Um, our brushes from Perry Tater coming in, which we love the reach of uh, products. Um, back here, we're going to kind of skip around here. Um, as you can see here, our battery cables, what we're going to end up doing is running that battery cable to the 12 volt battery as well. And then we're going to run that off the truck like we do on our large flatbed. So that way it's always charging as the truck is driving and basically we never have any issues of having to charge it overnight or it running out on us because we can always just turn the truck on, boom, good to go, we're charging. Um, so here is going to be our pressure washing hose and our chemical hose, um, whether it's for roofs, higher application or concentration applications, etc. That's those are going to be our Titan reels. Um, those are going to go right here, and then over here we have our, our new Cox reels. Um, these are going to be strictly for water. Um, that's going to be uh, dual feeding our water, um, so that way we can make sure that we have as much water as possible. Um, over here we have uh, basically a. a a tow hitch cargo holder. Um, we're going to be utilizing this for our X-Jet setup along with uh, our surface cleaner just to uh, set it in there and, and basically use this space without having to put it on the actual flatbed itself. Um, and that way if anything happens it's a little bit safer in regards to this going down rather than <laughs> our, our flatbed. 
Um, but again, this is a great, for the price, it's a great space saver. We'll be able to put our five gallon bucket here, our lance. Once we're done with it, it's gonna look nice and pretty. And then we'll also have our surface cleaner that we're gonna be able to mount here and secure safely. Um, so let's go around here. Here's our 10 gallon a minute water dragon. We love this thing, this thing's a champ. Um, it's a gear drive um, with a, I believe it's a U-door pump and uh, thing goes for years. Um, here's our water tank. We're gonna go ahead and run our, all our plumbing from here. Obviously we're gonna have fittings up top. We're gonna have a Hudson float valve and we're gonna have also a bunch of different fittings, not only just for uh, the pressure washer, but also the proportioner and the uh, DI system for our water fit pull system. And last but not least, here is our new little awesome little U-Jug. This is going to be for our proportioner to be able to go ahead and inject into the line soap. So we'll have our five gallon jug back here that's gonna be easily strapped down and, and look really nice, very, very affordable. And uh, it actually looks pretty cool. We're gonna be using more of these more often for other things, whether it's you know fuel, that kind of stuff, just to make sure that uh, if we need it on hand, we can always take it just in case, because it's really, really affordable to have them. And they are, are pretty awesome, because as you can see here, the cap already has a nice little port where you can go ahead and screen, or screw in your uh, injector or your line and that way you can go ahead and start pulling soap. So that is just kind of an overview of how we're going to be doing it. Uh, once we start strapping it down, which we will be strapping everything down using uh, D-rings, this is going to be strapped down with D-rings right around here in, on the inside. Um, it's going to go all the way to the front of the flatbed and hook underneath so that way it's as secure as possible. This is also going to be secured via the D-ring here and uh, a couple of D-rings right up front. Again, that way we are minimizing as much drilling through our flatbed as possible so that way it minimizes holes and rust um, because rust is cancer for metal. Um, but uh, yeah, so we'll have all our signage up. All, this, all these items are gonna be kind of blocked up here because we're gonna have our signage just like that, but it's gonna be on like a uh, piano hinge or just a hinge to where we can pull out like this. We can fill up, reach in here on both sides and do whatever we need to. But again, just utilizing the space that we have as best as we can is the name of the game here uh, because this thing is going to be a little beast getting into small driveways, areas right off the road, um, smaller areas just in general, uh, because having a large truck and trailer is awesome until you have to get into a small space and then you start freaking out because you're blocking traffic, you know, the whole nine yards. Um, but uh, yeah, anyways, here is a uh, little overview for you guys. Once we start strapping everything down, have that box and platform built and have everything kind of uh, bolted up here in the next couple of weeks, uh, we will go ahead and do another video showing you how we have everything strapped down, bolted up, the new retrofits that we have for certain things, and uh, we'll keep you updated with everything we have here. All right, guys, well, if you have any questions, concerns, anything whatsoever, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and comment below, and uh, let us know if you need anything. Thanks, guys. Have a great time.